As part of her plot to seek revenge against the Sith Lord Dooku for his betrayal, Asajj Ventress traveled to a Knight Brother village upon Dathomir, searching for a powerful servant. The Knight Brother, Savage Opress, was among those deemed fit as a candidate for the selection, which involved three brutal trials for the selection of servants, known as the Test of Fury, the Test of Night, and the Test of Elevation. Although Savage was ultimately bested by Ventress in the arena known as the Crucible, Dooku's former apprentice was nonetheless impressed with Savage's fighting skill, and took him as her servant. But one of the most intriguing aspects of Savage's subsequent servitude to both Ventress and Maul was the physical transformation he would endure through the magics of Mother Talzin and the Night Sisters, wherein he would become a towering, muscle-bound monstrosity filled with anger and hatred. In this video expose, I will describe how Savage Opress was transformed through the magics of the Night Sisters, wherein he was transformed not just physically, but was also provided with unmatched ferocity and increased force abilities. To understand how this was done to Savage Opress by the Night Sisters, we need to turn to Mother Talzin's writings within a collection known as Wild Power. As explained by Talzin herself, the transformation of a warrior into an avatar of primal anger required the magics from a deity the Night Sisters called the Fang God. The Fang God was one of two twin deities accepted by the Night Sisters, with the other one being known as the Wing Goddess. Unlike the Jedi and Sith, the Night Sisters didn't believe in concepts such as the light and dark side of the Force, or even the unifying or living Force. The Night Sisters believed that these concepts were manifestations of the two deities, and their abilities were thus bestowed upon them by the spirits. For the Night Sisters, the Winged Goddess appeared as a purely white griffin within the spirit realm and governed growth and fertility while the Fang God appeared within the spirit realm as a purely black gargoyle and governed virility, strength, and the hunt. Every experience of conflict involved communication with the Fang God. To initiate the transformation ritual, the Night Sisters had to call upon the universal energies of the Fang God, and this was no easy feat. As recognized by Mother Talzin within her writings, the magic of the Fang God was so powerful that attempting to channel it could burst blood vessels within the summoner and leave them visibly bruised. Therefore, as seen with the transformation of Savage within the Clone Wars TV series, the transformation ritual conducted upon a warrior required the skill of an expert shaman as well as a full assembly of Dathomir witches known as crafters. But while the process required the magics of the Fang God, the Winged Goddess was not completely absent from the process either. While the Night Sisters would channel the raw, pure hatred of the Fang God into their target, this could only be done by conjuring the green spirit ichor that was produced within the physical realm through the energies of the Winged Goddess, which could then be used by a skilled shaman within spellcasting. As depicted perfectly in the example of Savage, these energies could be used to literally produce muscle and bone. The ritual would transform the warrior into one that was taller, stronger, and angrier than their previous form, with more potential to use the Force. A Knight Brother who underwent the ritual would also grow an exceptional crown of horns. However, as Mother Talzin makes clear within her writings, the true strength of the transformed warrior lied not within their muscle or new height, but within their ferocious anger. So there we have it, how Savage Opress was transformed into a physically devastating, hate-fueled warrior by the Night Sisters. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SW Reading Club, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Twin Deities!